Today we're jumping ahead to work on the city of New Papyrus, focusing on the city harbor straight away, as I'm terrible at building boats in Minecraft. So for some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to force myself to build a lot of boats while taking on the challenge to find the extremely rare blue axolotl for the first time. Leave a like if you're excited to see this come together, and be sure to subscribe. So my house currently sounds a little like this. which has made it a little difficult to record videos, but it has given me a lot of time to sit around and perform boring tasks like braiding up these axolotls. So I created another pen to more easily see inside the swarm, while continuing to breed more and more axolotls. Starting this journey on day 4,815, I was so hopeful to find a blue axolotl before my game crashed with too many axolotl entities. I did become the worst version of the villain in Finding Nemo, stealing every fish I could find in the ocean and feeding them to my axolotl axolotl army and definitely misplacing quite a few fish so they just got eaten axolotl breeding is infuriating because you have to use a bucket of tropical fish a live fish and their friend well waiting between rounds of breeding the axolotls i needed to stay close by so i started to terraform the river from our second bridge out to the ocean to make more space for a future harbor making sure to take breaks between breaking all the blocks to come back and breed even more axolotls while trying to expand the river enough for our smaller boats to easily move through and not be crowded by the eventual foliage on the sides but construction continued in game and irl so i grabbed more fish to breed the axolotls yet again which led to even more time spent digging out the river to build this into a harbor for ships to dock and it's very shallow so it did take a large portion of time to bring down a few blocks a new shovel and a new axolotl breeding comes after which brings us up to present day where there's a small break in the construction noise and a lot of axolotls in here and i don't think there's a blue one quite yet it is a 0.006 percent chance anyways but the swarm continues after a little break as i want to get into building instead of just destroying blocks step one over in the main city i want to take a bunch of the red sand we have in here craft that into red sandstone flying down into the village or trading hall oh, oh so close we can take a shulker box of red sandstone to smelt down into smooth red sandstone there we go all smelted down and i crafted a few extra stacks of red sandstone just so we could have it to work with and fuel fuel still looking good from here i want to grab some of our sandstone a little smooth sandstone and cut sandstone slabs oh sorry excuse me sir yeah i'm just setting up camp to sleep for the night okay yeah have fun have a good time yep oh watch out for the cactus yeah, yeah deadly to animals i have an idea for the ocean front entrance here that i'm still noodling on so we'll leave it for now hello <laughs> excuse me i tried to build a wall oh trident wow that's lucky we can start with a sandstone retaining wall coming all the way back along here above the water line next i want to transition into our smooth red sandstone and then the cut sandstone slabs going on top of that to texture it a little bit we can cut out a few bits of the smooth red sandstone and introduce regular red sandstone and maybe we do the same with the sandstone down at the base too with some smooth sandstone This is looking pretty good, but it is a little flat. First behind that, I'm thinking for the deck itself, we just use some birch planks to keep it pretty simple within kind of the road theme we've been doing. I'm a little low on birch wood right now, so we'll fill it in as we go. Now on the main channel here, it's gonna be a little difficult to stop boats as I'm assuming the tide and the waves would be pretty intense through here. So this main bulwark is kind of what's blocking off the smaller harbor on this side. To get started, I wanna build up the main sandstone walls, leaving enough space for a wooden dock along the edge for smaller boats and then even some spaces for larger vessels to dock. This is definitely starting to look ship shape. It is a little bland though, so I want to bring in some jungle slabs right above the water level for the local fishing boats to more easily unload and to protect the ships from ramming against the stone if the water's moving. I'd love to use spruce fences to kind of support all of this, but uh, I am uh, almost out of them and I have no more spruce wood. I just need to run this along the entire extent of the dock here to make multiple boat slips. And a quick trip back to the old world for some more spruce wood. To craft 
spruce fences. I'm just getting the base shapes in for now, but I at least want to make sure that all the shapes I am putting in are going to be complete. Once we start adding in more of the boats in here, we'll actually start detailing this a little bit more. Before we get to the other side, it's definitely time for another round of axolotl breeding. Hello, my pretties. Come get your fishy. Come get your fishy. Yes, get your fishy here. We might need another pen soon. It's fine. I'm definitely at the point where I keep trying to find schools of fish that are eight or less so I can just take the entire group. I don't want to leave one of them alone without their friends. I'm not that evil. No, I'll just feed all of them to my army of axolotls so they can all get eaten together. Oh no, I picked up an axolotl. I lost a fish. Now for the other side. This is where our city is going to reside. And this should be a large enough opening for a lot of boats to be able to move easily in and out. And I'm thinking on this side, we're going to extend the sandstone up another one as I want the dock on this side to be prepared for larger trade vessels to be able to come in as if they're traveling from a long distance and they're going to need a lot of space for goods to unload. So to kind of show that off that we're set up for the larger ships, I'm thinking we bring the bulwark up up another few blocks. I'm gonna try and line it up to the same point right there. Yeah, that looks about right. thinking we can make this guy nine wide here and then just to get the base shape in we're gonna send ourselves back this way where i'm probably gonna need to do a lot of terraforming back here this is currently 29 blocks long and that should be enough space for a larger boat to fit in we've got a wandering trader that sells nautilus shells wait hello sir you're gonna be my best friend i will take your entire stock uh five you know that's not enough to make a conduit right oh i can't wait for them to be reworked Now, since we're going to have larger boats over here, they're probably going to be sitting a lot higher off of the water for their deck. So we want to have a higher space for them to be able to unload the goods onto. With the first dock in, my plan is to have two larger ships here. So I need a lot of space to account for that as we don't want them hitting each other. This was a massive boring box, so I did have to add in the small mossy section here just to break it up. And hopefully we have space for the two boats, even if we like stagger one there and one back here. I did forget to clear out the sand underwater at the smaller dock to make space for boats to not hit the bottom. So I jumped over there to clear that out real quick. That should do it for our river boats. Now my shovel and elytra are pretty dead. Or well, I should say a few of my shovels are pretty dead. Let's go fix these. In a quick trip to the wither skeleton farm I built in the nether to mend these right up. Before we start anything new, I'm gonna do another quick round of axolotl breeding in here. Still no blue axolotl, but we can get something blue. In the spirit of papyrus, I wanna grab a blue bed to go along with the city colors and to replace the pink bed we lost in the last episode so due to the cactus. That one was around for over 3,000 days, so hopefully this one sticks around for just as long. Oh, that's my face. I threw together a few materials over here as I want to focus on the entrance of the city harbor by creating two identical obelisks on either side of the channel. Starting with the base platform on the nearby obelisk, I want a fairly large space to be able to walk around more easily. With the base in here now, I want to move on to the obelisk itself, where I'm thinking we could bring in a little bit of our cut sandstone and smooth sandstone and stack up to like here and finish up the top with a little bit of a pattern in there. And then we bring this all the way back down, opening up a little bit of a gap in here in the middle where we can bring in a touch of our sandstone like here all the way around. And then we get in our glazed terracotta and we cover it with a little bit of glow like to mess it up. In the morning, I repeated this pattern around to the other three sides. That right there is looking pretty good. Now grabbing our red sandstone walls and red sandstone blocks, we can jump on top to build out the first of our obelisks, stacking up the full blocks at the base, then incorporating our walls going all the way around. We can use a little bit of B-dubs magic for the glass panes right here to help provide a little bit of extra shape. Then to invert the corners, we can bring in a little bit of the gray for the darker shadow, continue the walls around here and full blocks in the middle. Then up here at the point, I'm thinking we can just extend a little bit more of our glass 
to make this wall section a lot thicker and add one two maybe three walls now up at the tippity top if i can land it i want to add two dirt in here and then we're gonna bring in four light blue candles light those guys and have them floating on an end rod i wanted to put a conduit but they unloaded as soon as i got back here because it's an entity and i think that kind of gets the point across with the first in place i need to repeat this to the far side and i think this works as a really good entrance to the city harbor now i probably need some actual boats inside here which are going to require a few different materials but i want to focus on one for now as i want a small trade ship right in here a quick trip back to the old world i started to grab a bunch of different materials i'm really enjoying using bamboo here to look like the river reeds were bound together to create a boat along with a lot of mangrove and spruce materials to detail the trade ship along with a few other small detail blocks we can throw in here to look like cargo on top of the ship i moved the shulker monster a little closer to the city location and grabbed a shulker full of bamboo blocks just in case i need more but this right here should do for our first boat i'm not an overly confident boat builder in minecraft so even something at this scale is a bit of a challenge but pushing your comfort zone every once in a while is a good thing as a builder as that's really the only way we improve clearing out the water in the middle here and this should do the trick for the hole then we can start the mass with some strip spruce logs right here in the middle going straight up we'll finish that soon as first i want to focus on the base and covering the entire deck with our jungle planks and we can start working around the edge here with some of our bamboo details and then i thought we could also bring in some of our spruce buttons to kind of dot along a few of our empty places then we'll start working our way up back in here with some more of the bamboo to kind of reach a central point at the front of the boat which brings us to here and i know we have the sail but i thought it would work out pretty well if we start incorporating a few like seats over here for people to row the boat and we can work out like this and just have some small oars i guess yeah they are a little in the way of the dock over on this side but i'll leave it for now until i can think of something better to do finishing off the rest of the boat i added in our light blue and blue colors to the mast and some fences why fences because every other minecraft boat builder uses them so i did too i think it's rigging is that the right word i don't know but i do know that this is a cargo boat so i thought we could just add you know a bunch of cargo around as if it just got here into port and is still waiting to be unloaded maybe a few barrels right over here and we can have some blocks of bamboo back here and note blocks make pretty good crates and there we go the first boat is sitting in the harbor with just enough space above the bottom we'll definitely detail this later on because it looks awful i picked up the captain's quarters a little bit back here and added in the temporary bed i was using and i think it looks nice it looks like somebody could actually live in here now along with bringing the oars that were hanging over the dock just back in for now before we move on to anything else i want to take a quick break for some more axolotl breeding to keep growing the swarm as I'm pretty colorblind and uh, I wasn't able to really tell the axolotls apart, probably bad on using the magenta glass here, but I decided to build two more tanks and separate all, all the different colors. So if we see anything different, that means we got the blue one. But right now I just have a lot of yellow ones and this stupid little baby in there that I couldn't get in a bucket. We'll be back for them when they grow. Now for some smaller local boats. I designed this river boat over here in the last episode and I want to build a few more of them in these smaller slips over here, which means another round of material gathering, but they are mostly made out of bamboo so i'm able to utilize the full shulker i brought over already that was thankfully nearly everything i'm gonna need the only remaining item is smooth quartz which thankfully i still have the shulker here no nope, no that's regular quartz here as leftovers from the ocean monument project a while back and four little stripped oak lugs now we've already seen these before so i added in two of the boats resting at the docks with their sails up then this slip here will be empty with the boat sailing up the river then over here with the birch base i want to build out the bottom to be identical to the first two boats but we'll change it up from there Within the lore of this region, I know these bridges don't really allow for a mast to go underneath. It's a wee bit low to the water level. I've decided that even though it's annoying to remove, all the river boats will have a detachable mast, which we can show by putting on the side over here with some hanging jungle signs as the beam going across. One, making our world a little more unique. And two, the reasoning is that the winds from the sea right over there are so intense that it's still worth the effort to be able to zoom up and down the river. Is this 
the point where I scream lore to make a fact or do we all just uh move on lore just gotta cover my bases you know like the fact that I did promise four boats with one moving up the river so I'm adding in that now with it sail down and yes you can have a before and after shot now that we've spent a good while working on the harbor and the base shapes are coming together now on to a very important step I gotta plant a field and get this birch fence as we know the people gotta eat so today I want to go back to my roots of farm equip and plant in a wheat field in the desert region all the fancy fields are fun and all but sometimes we just need a good old classic wheat field and just like I gotta do the classic youtuber move here and ask you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content you've made it this far so you probably already like it or you're hate watching and hey views are views so thanks I guess really thank you to everybody who has subscribed I really appreciate it as we're racing towards 2 million subscribers and we have a new detailed part along the river just no trees in here currently taking a quick break away from the harbor I jumped into the nearby oak forest to chop down some oak and birch trees while gathering up all the leaves to use for our foliage here along the river then back into the old world as I needed to visit spawn to harvest the pitcher pod field after clearing everything that was fully grown I did replant the field to prepare for the next pitcher pod harvest before jumping back into the desert to harvest some azalea leaves which brings us to the riverbed extending closer to the city itself starting with converting a lot of the dirt area into some moss then next step of course bringing in our bushes and mangrove roots to fill in the lush edge where I am yet again out of tall grass so I expanded the grass square in the mesa and more bone mealing later to gather up a full inventory jumping back over yet again to start placing all of this tall grass down in between the different detail bits in here already and being sure to bone meal some to the double tall grass with the final step adding in some more palm trees after completing all of that I took some extra time down here to fix up the riverbed underwater a little bit more bringing in a ton of our dirt and even more seagrass as before it was only one block deep also did an extra two rounds of axolotl breeding over here where we now have well over 200 axolotls in these tanks with no blue one which brings us to the next build step in a lot of inspiration artwork I found there were these steps leading down to the water for people to use and I want to center it right here in the middle of the channel which uh, happens to be exactly 32 blocks wide and that should line up to here I believe so as a first step I want to turn the corner here on this building and that can stretch us over towards the steps I want this to be a community point in here so it's currently 14 wide and let's bump it up to 16 so it's exactly half of the width of the channel that we have and then we can take some of our cut sandstone right back in here to raise up to the normal layer with the retaining wall extended out on both sides now I can start placing in a ton of sandstone slabs to create a gradual staircase leading from the ground level down to the water then we can grab a little dirt and some moss from the shulker monster and use this to add some greenery around the steps to break away from the harsh lines we've created so far with the retaining wall underwater is going to need a lot of love but that's a future problem now on the ledge up here I want to channel get it get it channel the, the the obelisk idea moving on and create some smaller ones over here like the one that we built in the village and uh, right there with the red sandstone stairs flipped upside down and then we can start to incorporate some of our red sandstone walls in here and bringing these up a few to add in the gray stained glass paint right down there and then we're going to come up here a few more times we're going to add in the light gray and then over on this side we're going to do the light gray here as well and then that can kind of just come up to there and repeating that to the far side and I'm now realizing I built the first one a block too far forward, which means I got to tear it all down. Landing back on our dirt blocks over here. That's looking pretty good. A bit more of an entrance into the city, which I really love. Just ignore the fact that the city's going to be over there. But you know, you know, figurative entrance right here. Yeah, very nice. I just came over to breathe the axolotls and I just figured something out. We might need to dispose of some. See back here. Rocket sound works. You see, as we move up here, there's so many axolotls producing sounds in here that I don't have space for any more Minecraft sounds. All there is is axolotl. There's a lot of them. Yet there still is no blue axolotl, meaning we need to keep breeding these until we can hopefully eventually, maybe potentially at some point in the future, hopefully before the end of this video, get a blue axolotl. I extended the birch platform back a little bit over here as I want to add some big plant potters to build palm trees along the boardwalk. I just first need to measure out these 
bases. If we start out here with the first plant potter, we get something a little like this, where I have water hidden in the middle one so we can add some sugar cane in here. And then the corners, we're going to do some pitcher pods. Now I just need to count, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll try another one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Counting with flip is so fun. And that gives us five plant potters that ends a little bit before this staircase, I think. That's probably as good as we're gonna get. Now I just need to run around and finish off the base designs. Then we just throw all of our pitcher pods in, a little bit of our sugar cane, and that's looking pretty good. The final step is adding a few of our palm trees on top to provide shade for the streets. Well, eventual streets we're gonna have back here, but I think they're looking pretty good. Once we get some city buildings lifted up behind them, I think they'll be a great front piece. I'm kind of debating continuing them along this edge too. Let me know what you think. But we currently have a massive harbor here with one medium-sized ship and four small river boats. I'm gonna need a bigger boat, which means a lot of materials are needed. So I started with gathering mangrove logs from the tree farm. Then I needed to farm trees from the forest. So I started to chop down a ton of spruce logs to fill up my inventory. As always, I need so many wood materials for this, especially with it being a boat. So I spent almost 30 minutes in the lumber mill crafting down all the different items I need. Then flying down the hill, I grabbed some white wool from the sheep farm for the sail mass before taking the minecart down to the cave to diamond level to start mining for cobbled deep slate all over the place. A full inventory of that brought up to the quarry and I started crafting it down into all of the different deep slate varieties and I can't come back home without visiting my villagers to buy some more campfires to decorate with as well as a little flex of crafting an entire stack of decorative anvils bringing us to here with nearly three shulker boxes full of different materials we're gonna need for this big old boat now building boats is a massive struggle for me and after spending three hours designing this thing in creative the only way I can get this right without flipping back and forth is following along with a light Matica copy or I'd be completely lost in the sauce. Building in Minecraft is a challenge in itself. Then you step into different build styles and things you're making and it's a completely different puzzle. For me, ships and organics like statues are the most difficult thing to build. So I need to help myself as much as I can to not get overwhelmed and want to quit. Heck, I did start this entire project to hopefully improve my boat building skills. So to help these new ideas really set in and be a learning moment to grow, I'm using the schematic as a tool to really study what I was thinking through while designing this. This is definitely more of a high fantasy boat with this beak of sorts here on the front, but I think that's why I like it. It's a little different, but it still fits in. I really tried to step away from what my brain thinks a boat should look like and just focus on building something that might be boat-like, and I think that was the best idea I had the entire time. Because this ship here, I am extremely happy with the design. All I can say is the only way to improve as a builder is to challenge yourself and keep trying until you get something that you're actually happy with. It might not be the quote, like, right way to do it but this is a sandbox game after all so who really cares except well this boat probably shouldn't be sitting in the sand at the bottom of the ocean that part might be a little wrong and we can we can fix that but at least now it's floating happily in the water i would love to squeeze another boat in right back in here but it's gonna be pretty tight so it's gonna have to be a much smaller design up on top of this guy however we still need to decorate the actual top of the boat, but that'll probably come a little bit later on. Back up here, we have the captain's helm with a giant wheel because uh, I thought the oversized one would look pretty nice with all this stuff. Then up here, we've got a little bit of a crow's nest all the way at the top. And then I decided to connect these together just to give them a cool vibe in here. Normally when building boats, I struggle with actually having usable space underneath. And I'm really happy that this one has four blocks, almost five blocks tall. The front has like an icebreaker of sorts on it or even something for ramming and breaking other ships if it needed to get away but this is kind of as a armored trade transport ship where we would have a bunch of oars coming out the side here to move it forwards but now for a little bit of peaceful blub blub I gotta sit underwater and tear the sand down
about 20 minutes later and this is looking much much more believable for the boat to be able to come in here doing a little nom 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 right over here uh, eventually we will transition all of the bases away from the sandstone into more of that dirt and some rocks and things down there as it'll look a million times better we've just got some very important things to do first right now like uh getting even more axolotls bred up i will find the blue one i'm a little worried the yellow ones are kind of close to like entity cramming in here so we have a liquid mass of axolotl but it's fine still no luck on the blue axolotl but this fish in my hand right here one of the coolest fishes i've ever seen in minecraft look at him look at how cool he is i'm keeping him for sure he needs he needs an aquarium and a name give me name ideas down in the comments you're gonna go in there so i don't accidentally feed you one more final building today i want to build the first city building of new papyrus so i spent some time putting together all of the materials i could from the existing shulker monster before jumping over the nearest cherry grove to drop down a bunch of cherry trees for all of their logs which leads us back to the lumber mill as once again i need a bunch of different wooden materials to put this thing together a quick trip to the nearby dark oak forest has well to farm red mushroom blocks you... ah what happened to the stem did i just steal the stems how did i do that off to somewhere safer i stopped at the ocean monument to pick up a bunch of prismarine as i think it can make for a really cool tapestry design to where all of the items are back here ready to go for our new building but one more time we've got to breed up the axolotls always grabbing more fishies I really want to know when this is going to turn into a solid mass of axolotls where I just can't jump in here anymore because I think it's getting a little, little close. Wait, what the? Whoa! When did this get here? When? That's a... Wait, no. Pick that up. Pick that up right now. Just give me the... Is this a blue one? Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> when did you get here? Oh my gosh. Is this a safe place to put the axolotl it is? We have a blue one. What? Ah! How do we... <laughs> Where'd you show up from? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we've done it. There's like a 0.002% chance to breed one of these things. It only took 386, 87, 390, 390 axolotls. What do I do with 390 axolotls? Well, we got to breed this guy one more time because then we can get a limited number of blue ones if we can get two of them. But thankfully, breeding a blue one with another one has a 50-50 chance of getting another blue one. I completely planned for their fairly odd parents. This is where I'd put my blue axolotl if I had one moment. But uh, we have one. No, no, don't eat it, don't eat that. Yeah. Oh, you can't, you just, I just spread that one. Let me go get a different one. No, no, don't, don't, no, please make a baby. No, 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 sir. Okay, this is dangerous, I can't lose it. Make a baby blue axolotl, please? No, okay, we try again, no, don't kill yourself. We try again in 10 minutes. I'll work on breeding up another blue axolotl while we work on creating a home for them. Before we move into the building itself, I wanna set up a garden as some green spaces that's, that's gonna be extremely important to the city to keep it interesting. So looping around the entire building space we're going to be adding in a lot of moss waterlogged sandstone stairs and some plants i'm liking how this looks so far and for the building i want this to almost look more like a bazaar from the outside so adding in a big open air wall here on the front we can start the building it's giving ruined building which i really don't want right now so instead i want to add in a small awning over here that will help show that people are actually using the space and living here and we got something like that before we add in the other walls i want to fill in the floor to make it easier to move around instead of just having a big pit in the center okay maybe just a small pit in the center that we can turn into a pool for the blue axolotl now i believe the slabs up top here will keep our axolotl from jumping out speaking of which i should go check on them okay everybody's grown which means we could try for another blue one come on blue axolotl number two ah uh, not again i guess for now we could just put the axolotls over here in their new home and hopefully we get a blue one soon oh the second blue one well the breeding cooldown resets we can work on the remaining walls surrounding the blue axolotl bazaar second wall is now done and maybe we can get some better luck this time yes yes we got the second blue one you are done buddy back to the pit with you so again what do i do with all these axolotls i've heard tnt is the only solution for them but uh if anybody has any better ideas let me know now for a very important sidetrack to remember our first blue axolotl i want to give them a name thankfully we have decorative anvils right over here and they can be named booger hi booger oh he's so cute booger's blue axolotl bazaar huh huh okay 
Moving on to the third and fourth walls, uh, just copying the same design ideas from the first two. Now, I mentioned prismarine tapestry, so I want to extend some big supports with our spruce all the way across here, going across both sides. Then bringing in our prismarine as a form of cloth draping over the top to shade the pool from the hot sun. This is looking really good in here now. I also added in a few beds as benches that we can surround with a few trapdoors. Now, in the corners to help bring a little bit more light in, I'm thinking we add in some of our oak strip lawn and then we put on our blue candles. Our axolotls love the ambiance. Now for one more detail, I want to craft a bunch of decorated pots, which then we can start adding them in here in front of every single one of the pillars, which I wish these would stack. Then on top of the pots, we can add a little pot with a flowering azalea and some leaves like this, going all the way around the room. This is looking pretty special inside here now, especially having two blue axolotls living inside it. Oh, this is so special. Sorry, I mean, three blue axolotls and i think the tapestries are doing a pretty good job of keeping the sun out look how much shade we have in here oh it's so good it's definitely a build that i think looks better from the inside but i'm really okay with that as it's really for walking in to be able to view the blue axolotls which are right in here i love them so much this has been such a challenging episode from trying to build boats and really trying to improve my boat building skills and let alone breeding so many axolotls we broke sound leading to the first time i've ever seen a blue axolotl inside of one of my own minecraft worlds and it's so special i'm so happy to have picked the city harbor as the starting project on new papyrus we've got a lot of work to do still subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads leave a like to support the channel and i'll catch y'all on the flip side